I'm Bucky, I'm a DJ and I work in London. I got into DJing through working in a bar and seeing the DJs DJ, I thought oh, I could probably do a better job than that. So I um, spoke to one of the managers there and he gave me a little opportunity. What I enjoy about DJing is connecting with an audience, taking them to a certain place and enjoying that moment with them. DJs that have inspired me, I'd say are Mr. Scruff, because he's so fun and he brings the audience with him on, on his journey and their journey. And also Diplo, because he grabs all different types of cultures within his music, mashes them all together and then gives a great experience. The most difficult thing for me starting off as a DJ was just getting work and getting work that was paid and getting work that was paid well and on time. DJing more, being seen more, and just playing more enabled me to make better connections, get better money, um, play at better venues and have better opportunities. I'd say on the admin side of my career, I could do a lot more. Um, there's endless scope for um, making new contacts, for marketing myself as a DJ that I don't push into as much as perhaps I should if I wanted to grow my business more. Um, and on the other side, on the financial side, um, I'd probably say the same thing. I could be much more um, diligent as to how I organised that side of the business. Work-life balance is very good. That's one of the benefits of being self-employed. You can almost dictate exactly when you want to work and when you don't want to work. Um, the only difficulty might come within the desire to have more holidays and to take that time off when you know if you take the time off and you go on holiday it's like it costs you twice as much because you're not working and you, you know you're not earning some of the problems in my industry now i'd say within the scope of um commercial um r b commercial music um is that the audience's attention spans are narrowing by the day and by the year and i've had that discussion with other djs so it just means that they just want to hear the same song maybe four times in a night as opposed to experiencing something new. The next step in my career I'd say would be to find the niche that I really love much more. So playing harder music, playing sparser music, playing more experimental, more interesting music to audiences that want to hear it, playing it in different countries, playing it in different cities and eventually charging more for it getting more for it you know more from it on the inside and more for it from it um, profit wise um, that's what I'd like to do next